all to the KOE Nation, folks, for a very special store pick spirits matchup. I am your King of Extreme, Phil KOE, the man of the hour, the man with the power, the man that makes the other podcast cower, the prince and potentate of the political pilots, the lord of the Scottish Highlands. <laughs> One damn hands man if I do say so myself. And I am joined this evening by my in Dominable broadcast partner, the one, the only, the quadruple, the still non chill filter, 15 time revolutionary wrestling podcast champion of the blend master ceremonies himself, Tony fucking G. Thank you once again. We are back, and this is a long time coming because it has been a hot, hot minute since I've had any Woodford double. Oh. I love that stuff, but especially the store picks, and here's the beauty of it. We've got not one, count them. Two Woodford Reserve Double Oaks store picks here. And not just any two, but two store picks from the great city of Lincoln, Nebraska. So what we got here, we have the still coming in at 45.2 alcohol by volume. And we have Wine Beer Spirits, Greg and Brent's pick, and this is 45.2 ABV. Well, T, I think. I'll get to opening the still. You get to opening wine beer and spirits. Now, you and I have really appreciated the still store picks oh, and, oh. and wine beer and spirits, especially. I apparently uh, trimmed my nails too recently. So, yeah, thank yep. you. Yep. The Spider Co. Harpy. The review of that is inbound quite soon, folks. Nice. All right. We're in. We're in, folks. Like a 90s doctor. Feel good about that, do you? No. All right. You want to go simultaneous? Let's do one at a time. Okay. Let's see the still. Wine, beer, spirits. Oh, the still one. The still one. All right. Let's do the still in the Nebraska Bourbon Society. Okay, glass. that means we'll do wine, beer, spirits in the mini glen. Yep. Yeah, give me a little more than that. Yes, sir. Just want to make sure I have enough to get a proper nose from it. I understand. I mean, wouldn't want to undersell or anything. I understand. So, we have the still. You said 45.2? Yep. Okay, so both are. 45.2. So first, we take up the stills. Store pick to the nose, which they've had some recent controversy. Those poor folks had their front door... Uh, yeah. Bashed in by some disgruntled guy on a... Somebody had a bad day. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't even know what to make of it, but luckily the whiskey was not harmed, folks. So. Ooh. Uh, heavy dark chocolate and coffee. Mm. Yes, but there's a... Something that... There's a candy, like a... It's like one of the dark chocolate candies and an assorted candy. With it's, yeah. it's like that filling, that center. Before you take a sip of that, let's mm. take a nose of wine, beer, and spirits. Mm. And this is Greg and Brent's pick. Oh, wow. Well, Greg. Well, Brent. I'm getting a lot of the same notes, actually. This one's a little more coffee and tea. This one's a little more cinnamon and sugar. Yeah, I think I'm getting like an herbal tea. Yeah, you're right, because I love tea, and I'm kind of getting that. So, all right, tea. Mm. Speaking of tea. <laughs> mm. Well, that herbal and that tea really comes through. In the yeah, palate. wow, that really... Oh, man. Yeah, that's all I'm, I'm getting now in a good way. Wow. I'm going to go back for one more. Wow. Mmm. Little palate cleanse. With the, with the still pick, it's very... Usually we'll say that it, it coats your palate. This is very thin. I'm not getting that element of coating of your palate. It it finishes thin. I'm not saying that to be rude, but... It is very, like you said, tea and oak. Yeah. That's what I'm getting on the palate. It's, now, it's very much like it's cleansing. It's not coating your palate. 
Now, I'm curious how wine, beer, and spirits Indeed. is going to go for us. Definitely sweeter on the front. It's a sweet front with an oak back. Yeah, the with oak, a bit of coffee. Yeah, I was gonna say it, it's got a very heavy coffee influence on the finish. Yeah, well, yeah. This is like an herbal tea. This is a coffee, but this is a heavier sweetness on the front half. Tiramisu. Mm, mm hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's tiramisu. Okay. I'll go back here. Interesting. It's got almost a, yeah, it's like a, a green tea sweetness. With a bit of oily. Yeah, very oily. And this one. Hmm. Thicker tiramisu yeah. coffee. Spongier, yeah. Wow. Here's the thing. Those are very distinctly different. Yeah, they're distinctly different, but wonderfully good. Oh, yeah. that Both marvelous. Oh, boy. Wow. Now, this Lovely. is the unfortunate part of this team. Yeah. Oh, yeah. boy. We have to decide a winner between these two. Mm. And it's not going to be by a far margin either. because I don't think so. I think if we weren't comparing these two, either one of them would be spectacular mm -hmm. and we'd be blown away. But there's qualities I like on both ends here. Like it just, I'm blown away at how different they are. I'm going to just by a slim margin, very slim margin, I'm going to give the vote to Wine, Beer, and Spirits, Greg and Brent's pick. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to agree. Uh, wine, Beer, and Spirits does it again. They, uh, they keep find... in mind, wine, beer, and spirits really matches our palate. Yeah. Package. This is great stuff. It if is. you have a bottle of this, you are not underserved. No, I, I think it's the fact that it's so consistent with wine, beer, spirits that they they find a very trusted name and they find a barrel pick of it, and they're so good at picking one that would appeal to about anybody. I mean, because yeah. there's something here. Because like this, I think you, this is going to be a little more. Exclusive palette wine, bourbon snob, it, specifically. Now this, you could bring. It's a money. little broader because the sweetness is there. I think this is a little more appealing to a more generalized audience. I, I'm not. It's different though. I'm just. I love how there's both just such different qualities, and I'm not like, like I said, this is thinner. This is spongier. It's such different qualities. I'm so fascinating because i didn't expect it to be that different on the first nose mm. one more time to be sure for science folks for science yeah i gotta give it to wine beer spirits they uh they know woodford reserve double oak and they've just never ever ever let us down on that so consistency's key here I, i'm giving the nod to wine beer spirits so there you have it folks these store picks are in town for a very short while yet be sure to grab them while you can if you happen to be in Lincoln, Nebraska. And yeah, T, I kind of have to see how this goes myself. The blend of wine, beer, and spirits and the still, we're probably the only people that have ever done this. <laughs> Sweet. Ooh. That's lovely. Holy crap. It's a, There's a lot going on there. Like Lovely green spice tea, cake. tiramisu, oak, coffee. It's like a coffee cake. Cappuccino. Yeah, a coffee cake washed down with a lovely frappe or cappuccino. Yeah, that's... Uh... So, yeah. Are you a believer? Let's dump that out and just put those in here. Ooh, wow. And do Ooh, that. Don't tempt me. Don't tempt me. That's really good. Yeah, right now I'm just fixing some shit whiskey mm. in there but mm. now this is still it, so much don't sell oily. yourself store, wow. short but wine beer and spirits wow. you've done it again always amazing woodford double oak picks the wine beer and spirits woodford double oak pick from 2020 
won our first ever bourbon tournament. So I still have one unopened bottle, still sealed, sitting on the shelf. Oh. Well, folks. Well, before we do that, Tony, this blend. How do you grade it? That blend, I'm going to give an A minus. That is just delicious. I, wow, this is a uh, this 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 is exactly what I wanted after trying them both individually, but. It was so surprising. I, this is not what I expected. I honestly expected a heavier, thicker bourbon from both, and they were both just so different in that regard and individually. So this is a beautiful, lovely experience that uh, took me by surprise a bit. Mm. Mm. Well, folks, as I'm known to say around here, all that being said, Thank you for joining us here at the KOE Nation for this very special store pick matchup. Lincoln versus Lincoln. Who will reign supreme as the Lincoln Woodford of Extreme? And we have found out tonight it is wine, beer, and spirits again. So, folks, thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us. You can, of course, find me, Phil KOE, at KOE Nation on YouTube, TikTok, Twitch, and Twitter as well. And I am signing off and handing it off to my indomitable broadcast partner, the one, the only. Your Blendmaster, Tony G. Thanks for joining us and blending with us once again, and we will catch you on the next.